that's where I pulled over my taxi. I got out, I ran back here to help this person laying on this bench. Uh, just something in my spirit said, Bob, this person needs your help. I came back to help this person, but it is not a person, it is a statue. It's a, one of the most beautiful statues you're ever going to see in your life. You say, well, why, Bob? It's a guy laying in a blanket. Well, it is. But it's a very, very famous guy laying in a blanket. And as you can see, he's completely wrapped in a blanket. You can get a look at his face, his eyeball in there. Just a little picture of him grimacing on his face. You're like, well, who is that? Well, I think this will probably answer your question. There he is, where his feet have been nailed to the cross. This is Jesus as a homeless man sleeping on this bench. They actually took this bench during COVID and they moved it to a town. I want to say it was somewhere in Ohio. I could be wrong. They moved it as a display and they put it in a town, let's say Ohio. And within 30 minutes, the police were called uh, because someone wanted to report a homeless man sleeping on a bench to have him arrested. That's a fact. This is the uh, Jesus sleeping on a park bench. It is absolutely thought-provoking and wonderful and beautiful. And you would never know. I was in a cab coming up here, and I actually got out of my cab, walked back a block to help this human being. And this was not a human being. It was somebody wrapped in a blanket. I'll never forget, it was cold and rainy that day, and uh, it was, uh, I'll never forget it. What's poppin'? I ain't gonna lie, this kid is dope. Welcome to the Boogie Bob Experience. I'm your favorite YouTuber. Oh, we're going to have some fun. Enter here. I see an enter here sign. It's got to be open. They wouldn't play with my emotions like this. Now, outside, it is open. Great. Outside, there are hundreds, I'm not exaggerating, of the most intricate, beautiful statues. And I'm going to show them to you. Now, these pedestals right here have the statues standing on them, but they've all been removed for whatever reason. I don't know. Winter? I don't know. But you're going to have statues like this. And look at this beautiful one of baby Jesus. This is not your mama's cathedral. This is a pretty intricate, crazy, even by the doors, you could tell how intricate it's going to be once we get inside here. There are, uh, I showed you these, these pedestals are empty, but I'll show you on the other side what they're supposed to look like. It appears that they're doing massive construction. It is open. It looks, it appears to be open. I'll let you know in a second. Uh, look at this. They have these uh, statues. And I'm not talking some, they have hundreds. And even these, this track that goes around here, those are all smaller statues. It looks like they've all been taken out to be cleaned. Like these little statues here, they go all the way around. Look at this, look at that. That's crazy. The architecture is insane. They have these giant statues of angels and these angels are holding swords so uh there's other kinds of angels there's the angels who's gonna love you and hug you and hold you there's angels who's gonna cut you you don't want you don't want one of those angels cutting you it's uh they're soldiers uh-oh i might have just found a bull for the mighty bull he likes it when we find the mighty bulls. Does that look like a bull? Or is it a burrow? I can't tell from here, I'm sorry. That's a bull. 
That looks like a, a bull with wings. All right, we're going inside. Look at these statues, guys. These statues are just beautiful. All these different ethnicities. The door is metal. There's a million statues carved on the metal door. Uh, we got some construction going on, so let's see what happens. I'll take my hat off. I really, I don't have a mask. I'm such a jerk. I hope they either have them here or it's, there's no mandate anymore, so, but I always bring my mask. Uh, this is a landmark of New York. It's the Cathedral uh, Church of St. John the Divine. Uh, first service was held in 1899 in the crypt beneath the choir. Guys, this is a very, very, very large church. Mask required. Let me see if I can't get a mask. Oh boy. Okay, it's open. Let me ask her. Good morning. Yes, sir. Can I get a mask, please? Okay. I'd like to take the tour or give myself a tour. Or... All right. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. I never leave house without a, without a mask. Wow. Well, keep the, a nice. I, I was on the I was on the train halfway here. I looked around. I go, oh, yo, I'm the only one here without a mask. <laughs> so, is it a five dollar no, donation? No, no, no. We don't. All we do is check uh, your credentials. Oh. Oh, okay. Vaccination, so put your mask on. I got, I got all my stuff here. Yeah, I thought it was a $5 donation last time and I was here. It is. Oh. That's not what we do. Okay. With. We we'll just want you to show proof of vaccination. I got you. That I got. Okay. There's Gave you a nice fresh mask. Uh, they, a uh, free mask girl. and everything. Yeah. Uh, do you have any, uh, you have a bag? Could you be I so do. kind to take I a bag off, sir? You have any keys in your pocket? I do. Let's see. Got keys. Got my little headphones. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. I have my uh, pocket knife. Oh, you have that? definitely. You have to keep that. Okay. Uh, this is what you do. I'll give it to you. you. Come in, and then you uh -huh. get it when you come in. Don't. And I know you're not gonna forget. All right. So I'm gonna just put it here. Oh, great. All right. Thank you. Let's step in, sir. I think I'm good. Yeah, just step oh, on. Okay, folks, take out proof of vaccination and oh, take your, be ready to take your bags. Yes, yes, Thank sir. Thank you so much. Okay, just follow me here and go over there. I will. I'll take you. Thanks for your help. Thank you. All righty. I feel like I'm walking into Fort Knox over here. All right. I'm the only guy today that tried to bring a shank. I'm bringing a blade into this cathedral wrong with me I'm a house kitchen resident I gotta bring the blade guys this is a really 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 big uh, big big church look at just the just the columns are 20 feet wide good morning to you I'm great I'm gonna give myself a little self tour what is it five bucks oh I I live in Midtown pardon me can I just get the zip code then? Yeah, 10036. All right, just wear the sticker uh, while you I got a sticker, a free you sticker. A Thank you so much. Thank you. I got a little sticker here. I right, got myself a sticker. And then uh, he said to get a map. Here's a map. Okay, this is a church where you might need a map. You're always welcome. You're always welcome. Here's a little thing. I don't even know what these are, but I'm old. There's that little thing. All right, y'all. This is going to be fun. These are 200 years old. These are wood carved. Uh, when I see a piece of wood like this, I think of what a great guitar it would make. Uh, but obviously this is something pretty beautiful these are really 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 old just look at this this is where you would get your little chair and swing it down how many people have sat in this over the years 
all the stuff here is hand carved and uh look at this looks like shakespeare the choir stalls these distinctive divide the uh, 15 blah 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 a couple hundred years old they're very 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 can you imagine some guy carving this out of this wood the wood is like a petrified wood it's crazy all right y'all i want you to look now you know i love my saint patrick's cathedral so i don't like to compare but it's a little baby compared to this thing even the stained glass there are hundreds of thousands of individual pieces that make up these stained glass the building's 230 feet high i think don't quote me that's their cornerstone that's their that's their big boy right there it's massive all right so Ooh, jordan there's jordan joe thou art my beloved son in thee i am well pleased beautiful sentiment all right guys look at this you go wow it's really far no it goes to pass that thing and then there's another one behind it it's 600 feet long we're talking two football fields this thing is crazy and then more of this wood this guy get a little cup more of this wood and uh can you imagine how long it would take to carve this out of this solid wood where did this wood come from look at how big it is goes all the way across here all right don't let me forget my knife you guys don't let me forget my knife all right in uh, st patrick's cathedral they have these really beautiful pillars as well but look at this one it's like 40 feet wide this is a monster i ain't seen nothing like it before it's huge by the way i think st patrick's holds 2,000. this one holds 5,000. We're going to do a, a tour. I'm going to try my best to show you everything. I think my best bet is to take you around the circumference. Even these look really old. It says right here, look at how old it is. It says made in Ikea. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Okay, I'm being stupid. But look at even, the, even these have little dragon heads spitting fire. There he is. All right, we're gonna see a lot of really cool, intricate things in here. Made in Ikea. All right, this is a Boogie Bob exclusive, folks. Now, St. Patrick's is my church for 30 years. I know it very well. I don't know this church. I've only been here a couple times. So they do have a really cute souvenir shop. Uh, you can buy little postcards. Uh, Look at their, uh, their manger. Look at, they got these little handmade dolls here. You, all this stuff is for sale. These crucifixes. This is beautiful. Just carved out of wood. Uh, I almost bought this for a friend of mine. She, she collects nativity sets. This one was made in Ethiopia. Look at how beautiful it is. It is just intricate, small little pieces of leather. Beautiful. Then they have the prices over there. I like the peacocks. And, uh, a lot of, uh, I was like, what are these? But I just figured it out. It's a, sun, it's a glass holder for your glasses. It's a very small souvenir shop. You guys know I, I like souvenir shops. That's what I do. Certainly not one of my favorites. Great books, keychains. 
This is a very cute little keychain. As far as marketing, they got nothing on St. Pat. St. Patrick's comes to play. All right, I'm gonna show you uh, some of the cool things that I see around here. Nice little oh, thing oh, here. Hey, what's cracking, RJ? How you doing? All right, we're gonna we're gonna take a look around. The first thing that I notice when I walk into this place is these monstrous. Uh, they won't show up good on here, but oh my God, if you could see how beautiful these were. Everyone tells a story. This is just stunning. I could look at one of those windows for hours and never see the same thing twice. Just beautiful. A lot of this, I don't know. I'm gonna try to uh, wing it as best I can. In memory of Frederick Bourne and Emma Bourne given by their daughter Wow, what a beautiful memory. 1925, the daughter's long gone by now, I'm sure, as well. Uh, these, these pillars are just, <laughs> when I see my cute little ones at St. Patrick's, these pillars are monsters, bro. These look like diesel trucks. Uh, by the way, it's the fifth largest church in the world, and it's only two-thirds completed. These are, this is the church, obviously, and these are the smaller ones around the outside. I don't know. Each, each one has a story. There's Christ giving to the, someone who looks like they're either praying or something. Each one has its own little story, and look how many there are. There are hundreds in each piece. I, I would have liked to have done more research last night or done some research, I did none. Uh, whatever I'm gonna tell you today is what I, either what I already know or what I'm lying about. So this is a nice piece dedicated to the fire department of New York City. And you see them, uh, look at this. This one here is pretty insane. Look at this. You ready? Because I don't think you're ready. Look at this. It's this giant wood block with a, a metal hand wrapped around it. And it says, uh, to the 12 heroic firefighters who perished in a fire in Manhattan at 23rd Street and Broadway on October 17, 1966. This is not 9-11. This is a memorial of 12 firefighters who died in 1966. I didn't even know about this. In October of 1966 on 23rd Street and Broadway, which I take you by there all the time. Uh, 23rd and Broadway, that's I think the, uh, the Flatiron Building, right? Am I wrong? Anyway, look at this. Or oh, certainly in the area. Look at this. Get down here, guys. They got the fire hose. They got the helmet. What a beautiful, beautiful piece. They've got the pe people who may have survived. I don't know. Wonderful. What a beautiful work of art. There are. This is a um, a church and an art gallery. Because I, if I remember correctly, when I was here. There is a whole lot of art on all the walls. RJ was just talking about a synagogue. This is certainly a, a Jewish celebration of mass or church synagogue right here. And then here is India. This is, uh, appears to be Native American. 
could be uh, uh, Ecuador, it could be, I don't, I don't know, it could be somewhere in Guatemala, but uh, indigenous people, it looks like. And of course, uh, African or Caribbean, I believe that's African. All right. We're just kind of walking and talking. Uh, this is a thermometer. It's a thermometer. It's nice in here. It feels toasty. Uh, how did I come here with no mask? Uh, this is a National AIDS Memorial. Most churches won't touch that. I think it's beautiful. Uh, it's a National AIDS Memorial. Uh, beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, RJ, I'm tripping too. It's a really, really magnificent building. Everywhere you look, they have these modern marvels, this beautiful slab of... And I'm looking for bulls today because I told the mighty bull I would. There's a bull. There's a mighty bull. There's a whole bunch of mighty bulls in here. And then all this wood... Guys, it's one thing to have the statues. You see the statues, they're wonderful, but... These are stories told with wood. And these are hundreds of years old, these pieces. Look at this. Dude just up there chilling. He's got a pen, a pen and a feather. He's just writing, writing away. Right. More stories, ancient old books, memorial books. I'm just kind of walking. I, I got a lot, there's a lot to cover, guys. Ooh. Okay, oh, I do not curse in church. Don't curse, I just broke my arm. Oh, that hurt, oh boy. Oh, Lord, <laughs> ouch. <laughs> uh, that is very, 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 oh. <laughs> I, I, you guys are my witness, I'm suing. Oh, that hurt. Uh, all of these have these signs on the wall to the story of God and the memory of James McLean. Uh, these are etchings that were done 100 years ago. Beautiful. But all of these are these wonderful works of art. They just have these works of art. They had an artist. Look at, look at how beautiful this is. Holy smokes. And this one. This one here is really cool because it's cars. It's a, that's a, if you've ever been to Los Angeles, that's a freeway, my friends. I told you there's a lot of really, really cool art here. I just broke my elbow. Oh, it hurt so bad. Very, very cool. I, I know that there's no way a lot of this is gonna translate well. Got little whales or dolphins, dolphins. This is kind of scary. Look at this. Ugh. Really, really, I'm a big art guy. So some of this art is just beautiful, beautiful detail. Oh, I see some mighty bowls. All right, we're gonna keep it moving. A lot of it is uh, historical, a lot of it has uh, I mean, when you think about it, look at this. Look at this. It's old wrought iron, 200-year-old candle holder. You put your candle right there. All right. They just have a bunch of really cool old stuff in here. It's like they collected stuff around the world and put it up. really hard to keep showing you these wonderful stories here like here's a guy conquering something it's on his horse and there's the Roman soldiers here's a dude with a sword he's like look at me look what I did he's fighting a whole bunch of people this stained glass here is just I have never seen anything like it Here's a, oh, this is super cute. 
dude just laying there. He looks like he's dead, I guess. And he's got the sword. He's got a little puppy dog at his feet. I think it's a puppy dog. You just come right up and touch it. It's like this beautiful sandstone. All right, we're still walking and talking. I can't get over the size of these pillars. And look at the roof, bro. It's much taller than St. Pat's. Uh, pretty. We're just walking and talking. Eleanor Van so-and-so, 1853 to 1926, was unveiled by Her Majesty. Ooh, big shot. All right, now I see some, I do see some, oh, they got some construction going on. I see what you got going, there's construction going on. I might be, guys, the church is just starting. There's a whole nother section. But they, then they have all these little teeny tiny statue guys. It's like we're in church and you got these Roman Gothic things and Middle Eastern things and then you got these little tiny dudes right here. I don't know. It's like it's a hodgepodge of this little hodgepodge of art. Um, unfortunately guys, this might be the end of the road today because look, they got major construction and oh my goodness, I'm gonna be very upset because we're not even a fourth of the way through. Remember I said it's two football fields long. We're not even a football field yet. Right there, right here is where they would have the, yeah, it looks like this might be the end of the road. I'm a little, a little disappointed about that. Look at, look at how they built these staircases all the way to the top. They're doing major, major construction. You can see they've got a, a false roof here because it's way up so typically what happens is you get to about the halfway mark right here and then the church goes on further than what we've been through already from there to here it's about another two-thirds long and you could see the uh and i think it even goes past the stained glass back there well, they're doing major construction. Hi, ma'am. Yes. Uh, yeah, I gave you five dollars. I only got half a tour. Can I have back two fifty, please? How cheap would that be? Um, uh, guys, that's the end of that's the end of the tour today. I think. I mean, I'll still be able to take you to the other side, but I was really wanting to show you. All this is chairs. Thousands of chairs all the way up here. And then the altar. Look at the altar. It's another 300 feet that way. It is a massive, massive church. And I hope that you got to see some of it. I hope I was able to deliver some of it. It's really weird to get here than have this major construction. There's 200 construction workers over there. And uh, they're just chipping away at it. I do see people on this side walking through the corridor, so let's see if I could, uh, I don't know. There's a little, there's a little signs pointing me over here. There's this little dude right here. I don't know what he, what's your problem? What's your problem? And, uh, let's see. Ooh, restrooms. <laughs> Shall I go tour the restroom? All right. I'm sorry guys, that's as far as she goes on this side. Let's see what's popping over here. But if you look over there, the statues go from the floor all the way up hundreds of feet into the air. It's a, uh, this, we saw the little small part. We saw like the bathroom. These windows here, they're, they're all stained glass. They're covered because of the construction. This part of the hall is huge, twice the size of what we already saw. And uh, I'll have to read as to why why it was uh, like that. A 
love these. Hey, there's Jesus. Hi, Jesus. Hi, Joseph. Hi, Steve. I don't know who Steve is. I don't know. I just made that one up. Look at this. This is the type of stuff that they have all throughout this building. You know, like a gargoyle. You know, a little dragon. Really, really super cool. More, uh... People kind of laying there. See what's happening. Now more of these really beautiful old candle, candelabra things. Look at the size of this pillar. Bro, I can't even imagine. And there's statues all the way to the roof. disappointing it's a beautiful wooden crucifix that's covered up probably because of the construction how many pieces of stained glass are on this window right here and it looks like Shakespeare Again, all wooden, and uh, that's Jesus. I know him. So I uh, got these guys kind of chilling over here. Hundreds and hundreds. There's Adam and Eve. That looks like Adam and Eve. I could be wrong. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking that's Adam and Eve right there. I don't know who this God. I don't know. Where's the snake? All hand carved out of this really old. There's, there they're getting kicked out. Told you not to eat the apple, bruh. Getting kicked out. This intricacy is just, I'm a big wood guy. I'm an art guy, so I can't even imagine. And then they have these beautiful tabernacles. These these altars all over all right don't let me forget my knife they have uh they have altars to a lot of different things. Here is uh, is Buddha. Uh, it's very beautiful, very very beautiful. They have uh, Asian culture represented, African culture. That looks like Slender Man. A little scary to me. It's an interfaith art collection. They have over 300 pieces on display throughout the building. It looks like Public Enemy. I love that they have a very diverse collection of art on display representing people from all walks of life all right well definitely unhappy about uh, uh, 
Now this is really cool. This is called the Poets Corner, dedicated to American literature. I already saw Sylvia Plath. Right here is Edgar Allan Poe, F. Scott Fitzgerald. Uh, a lot of them I don't know. There's Mark Twain. And then they have a quote by Mark Twain. There was things which he stretched, but mainly he told the truth. And that's pretty good. That's me. There's things I may have stretched, but mostly I told the truth. Emily Dickinson, Captivity is Consciousness. Robert Frost, Gertrude Stein, Walt Whitman. We have a lot of wonderful, this is actually really beautiful. Tennessee Williams. My heart is indicting, ind indicting a good matter. My tongue is the pen of a ready writer. All right. I'm kind of trying to scrape the barrel here, guys. I got to, I'm running out of the, I got no juice for the squeeze. I want to know why this little bumblebee is right here. All I can say is that my life seems pretty great. All right. Guys, let me show you where we're at right here. We're uh, right here. Right around here. We're in this area here. There I am. Right, I'm being stupid now. All right. This is kind of cool. They have one of these. They usually have these on top of the Empire State Building or uh, down at the uh, Statue of Liberty. Oh, wow. Holy smokes. I don't think you could see it through here, but look. Let's take a look. That is the, uh, it's actually quite beautiful. That's the stained glass, if you can get your eyes up here. Or oh, if you got your ultra galaxy, you can just do it. A million stories on those paintings, on those painted glass. All right, guys, I think that might be all she wrote. I feel a little disappointed that it was half of the church was shut down. They have statues. I like the statues. They have statues everywhere. All, the big, the best money maker is at the very end of this thing. All right. Uh, fill up your little bottle of water right here. To the glory of God and in thanksgiving for the very Reverend Harry Richard. It's nice to have your name immortalized. Uh, there's no way I can show you the, the size of this church. Look at this big, big table. It just, there's just really no way to, to show you the size of this thing because it literally doesn't even start until after where those construction workers are and it goes, so it's 600 feet, which is two football fields. I just imagine just Anyways, it's pretty grandiose and beautiful. It's obviously under major construction. Uh, we'll come back again sometime. Beautiful. This might be my favorite thing in here, this really, really, really old wood thing. Smile, bruh. Why you can't smile? Look at this guy. He looked like he owes somebody money. All right, y'all, let's get up out of here. Exit. Thank you.
didn't get a tour right here. The monthly blood drives. Every month the cathedral's proud to host the blood drive. Hey, miss, can I grab my knife? Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. thank you. Yeah, oh, get it, sir. Thank you so much. There it is. Who brings a knife to church? What's wrong oh, with me? What's wrong with me? A lot of people would be surprised. <laughs> thank you so much. Okay, Have a blessed day. Door, oh, sir. great. Thank you so much. And, uh, All right, so I'm not the only person bringing knives to church. Look at these doors. Wow, the wood, you just feel it. It feels like it's its hundreds of years old. It's really heavy wood. All right, guys. We did it. We did half a tour. Uh, Hey, who had fun? Did you guys have a good time? Oh, uh, thank you, TG. Yeah, it definitely was uh, lackluster because it's a, it's a, it is a really beautiful, beautiful church, and I barely scraped the surface. I'm gonna try to show you it from across the street, but it's so big it doesn't really fit in the camera lens. Here's a sticker that they give you to wear on your shirt. Harlem, New York. That's what I'm doing. I'm walking. I'm just going to walk to Midtown Manhattan. 60 blocks. I don't think I'll make it 60 blocks. I'm not guaranteeing I'm making it 60 blocks. I'm gonna have trouble making it six blocks. All right. Yeah, it's just not gonna, cause it goes all the way, it's a monster. It's a, that's a real cathedral. It's a really ancient looking Uh, you can see how big it is. It goes on and on. Now, you know, St. Patrick's is stuck between, uh, you know, it's on Fifth Avenue. It can only go so far. Up here, they had a whole lot more room to build. And uh, it's only two-thirds of the way built. So they're still doing massive construction inside there. What the heck? Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, ring the little bell, and please be kind and loving to each other.